did you feel pressure in the sense that like because newlyweds was so big like was there pressure like you and ashley to be like nick and jessica 2.0 uh i don't think so i never felt any i don't know if ashley did but she might be a little more so because that was her older sister right um at the time you know when you're younger and your older sister is super famous and you're trying to do your thing but they were so different that it worked you know ashley was such a different soul and different spirit than jess and their music was totally different that it was never a competition i don't think and i never felt that way now and you so you guys were dating like were you still dating during that whole like snl thing or was uh, that we like, were sure 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 was so how was that i mean like to me now it's not it's it, almost like if you look back on that, it's not that big a deal. All, it was all BS. It was just because it was the, you know what, in what, what happened, Ashley got sick, lost her voice, did, didn't want to sing. Like she was like, she wanted to cancel. It's like, I can't sing. And this happens to singers all the time, everybody. And now it's just a little bit more publicized that that stuff happens. Um, and at the time, but the label made her do it. And so they're like, you have to do it. We're just going to put a track. And because this is SNL, you can't miss it. So she, she got the raw end of the deal there because people were, you know, doing that all the time. Just, it, it, you know, there was an accident that happened with whoever was in charge of playing it. Had that not happened, nobody ever would have known. She would have been singing the next day. Ashley has always been a great singer. Um, so it, it just sucks that it got skewed into something like that. Like, oh my God, maybe she can't sing because she, you know, sang tracks. Like, no, we're human beings and we get sick and we lose our voices. It happens. To everybody it happens to Beyonce, except for whoever it was didn't accidentally screw the track up, you know. So it was just a, a complete uh, baloney, you know, story that came out. It sucked at the time. It says, yeah, you know, it hurt her um, personally and emotionally because, you know, for anybody to say what they were saying after that was all BS. And so it was an unfortunate scenario. But you know, you, you, uh, you. I guess you. It happens. You know, people realize now. Like any, everybody, like. Oh, no, I wasn't saying it. I, I was sick that week. I don't care, but I'm not going to, you know, give up. I think at the time they were trying to cover it up maybe because it never happened to anybody yet. But I consider her a trailblazer for, for people to at least get to come out and be and say, hey, we're human. We get sick. We lose our voices sometimes. And that's what happens. And right, like everyone seen, sings to backup tracks now. People do it, oh, every single person. Uh, you know, there's been times, you know, every, and sometimes you have to. Like there's been shows that I've been on that they've made me lip sync. Like, um, I won't call them out, but they make you. And I'm like, what? I don't want to lip sync, but they make you. And you, you roll with it and you do it. 